Good evening and welcome to some more Link to the Fast League randomizer. We have the Tile Roomies versus the Fendron or Drifters. Uh, Tile Roomies, I'm not sure if they have a shot at the playoffs or not. It depends at least partially on the match going on uh, involving your mom's favorite rando team over on the other stream. Uh, Fendron Drifters well in first place in their division, I believe, with a win. They have a shot at the uh, number one seed overall. My name is Tracy M. Drossy will hopefully be joining me shortly. Uh, traffic in uh, his area getting the better of him for now, but uh, I'll do my best. Uh, we do have Fury's Magic and to OJ uh, doing tracking. Uh, thankfully, we have those people tracking and it will... Uh, it will help me out as uh, I try and watch four screens at once. <laughs> as per usual, uh, that is uh, a tall task. <laughs> All right, here we go. Cart container in Link's house, heart container in Sank. So nice early cart containers from our, for all our runners. Looks like uh, Jay Misher and Megawatt are going to go straight to Saha. While Plasma Capta and Jet are going to go do Bonk Rocks into probably normal Kakariko checks. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Don't forget, <laughs> don't forget Bonk Rocks. I mean, it's only bombs, so you're not going to miss them in the long run. But uh, you kind of want to have those bombs early. Now let's see what's in the back of Saha's hut. A sword, nice. That'll make the boots easier to use. Well, both Jet and Plasma Kappa are, are going for some resources. Uh, looks like Megawatt's gonna continue on into Eastern Palace. Uh, Jay Misher is gonna go to the uncle. And there's Drossy. How are you doing? <laughs> Hi. So maybe you can tell us a little bit more about what the playoff implications of this one is? Yeah, so... Uh, Vendrana Drifters, uh, having won last night in Tile Roomies, having lost Tile Roomies, are now eliminated uh, because any tiebreaker they would get into if they win this um, would work against them. So basically this is Vendrana Drifters playing for seeding. All right, so they, my understanding, can they get the first seed with the win? Uh, or might they get a first seed with the win? Uh, they would be guaranteed um, a first seed with the win, yes. Um, if they lose and your mom's favorite rando team wins both of their matches, we would actually need a coin flip. Oh, boy. <laughs> So <laughs> coin flip. Yes. So <laughs> Fendrana winning would guarantee them the first seed out of the uh, division. Oh wow. And, okay. So, uh, yeah. Losing would make a coin flip a possibility. That 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 would be insane. Okay. Oh, a flute in uh, in the front of Escape for Jay Meisher. That's really nice. Meanwhile, Megawatt in Eastern, which is really interesting. Uh, our other runners are going to clear out Kakariko as one might normally do. I'm going to see Blinds Hut at the same time. And nobody told these runners that they're supposed to have the two top players do the same things and the two bottom players have to do the same <laughs> <laughs> So far, the most significant we found, thing we found beyond the, that flute is a sword in, in Saha's hut. Both, both sides have seen that. And I believe we did get a map check and we got all, all just regular crystals in, in, uh, in the light world. That's nice to see, honestly. And make a lot looks like he's gonna go for the dark room here. Uh, you I never mean, he know what sword. could be in here. Yeah, you never know what could be here. Like nothing in the front of escape, though. No, sorry, just that flute. Nothing else in the front of escape. We'll see if Jay Meesher chooses to go to go to Dark Cross, which is <laughs> a scary proposition without a light source. So we'll see. He's gonna go for it. And Megawatt's not going to make it over to the big key chest. I imagine that he'll be done and not worry about that check for now. Meanwhile, uh, Jet and Kappa both find a mirror and a bow in the well. Ooh. And a 20% return on the bottle vendor. 
Bo can be interesting for logical reasons, too, that um, the boss of Eastern still isn't in logic without a bow. We can do it, because the uh, animizer portion of the randomizer requires that any room uh, that needs uh, enemies killed to be opened uh, needs to have killable enemies. Right, and uh, same is true in Pod, that, you know, right. uh, well, you can yeah. get up the right side without a bow, but the logic's still expected to be there. Um, now, now, Pod does still need a bow to be beaten, because we, we don't randomize the Igor statue. Thankfully. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you would randomize it with, so... <laughs> Nothing? But, yeah, it, it, it's Igor really day. just one of those, in terms of knowing whether the game expects you to be somewhere or not, as yeah. Kappa grabs that... Uh, bug net off of the library and jet thumbs his nose at it. I mean, the bug net is more powerful in, in Animizer just because, you know, catching a lot of fairies. Um, I believe in one of the races yesterday, one of the runners picked up the bug net and kept uh, getting saved by fairies. And the other runner was like, how are you getting all these fairies? <laughs> yeah, I was a little surprised that Jet turned down the bug net, honestly. I mean, we don't have any bottles yet, but you no. kind of expect to get them. Yeah, I mean, it's it's an item I would turn, I would always turn down in a regular seed, but yeah, an animizer, I might pick it up. And three hundred bucks in Ice Rod Cave is the first real source of money we've seen this seed at all. Yeah, let's see. Yes, yeah, but still not enough for Zor. We are going to do some water walking though. So Jet will get his sword here. There's everybody, everybody on Tile Roomies now has a flute. Right, while well, the drifters still don't know about it yet. Hey, and we've now seen two shields, yay. <laughs> I think Megawatt had intended on running back to the man under the bridge, but uh, he bonked and has lost his water walk state, so uh, we'll have to wait till later to see that item. Oh, and okay, here goes Megawatt to uh, escape, so Fendrana Drifters will find out about that flute pretty soon. Yeah, I mean, that flute gives us mountain axis. Not a lot of mountain axis yet, but... Well, you know, with, with the mirror, the that's Hera. Yeah, that is Hera, right? We do have a mirror. I was thinking mirror plus hammer we needed. Uh, Hookshot will give us more. Uh, it is a crystal, so theoretically we could do it. And with the book, we can scout Ether Tablet. The book with the book we can also do eastern which may be where jet's heading right now you mean desert yeah that that by eastern, wow Me mega walk yeah. got dead rocked in uncle tunnel Ooh. oh this. did he, where was jay misha was that, was he rescuing the old man and didn't quite make uh, he, it I yeah think. he was just before the old man and uh where he could have returned the old man he was like two steps yep. away so now he yep. has to go through the this, whole this this is his again. life for a little bit because i think even save and quit puts you back here like it, the game wants you to rescue the old man once you get in there uh, if you can get get through it once you can get through again it looks like that hinox is probably stuck in the wall that can happen to the enemies in that cave yeah he got through the cave fine it was you know <laughs> this yeah, hinox I mean... and the cabbages outside that's a lot of uh, bad enemies there. And that's another 300 from the old man, so once a team puts together that plus Ice Rod Cave, they'll have Zora money. It's like a fairly normal desert without a Vemos, which is kind of nice. <laughs> oh, hello, Hookshot on Spec Rock. Okay, well, a mirror would be out. Yeah, yeah, let's get that mirror so we can go get it. Uh, what was... Jamie sure must have saw... I didn't see what this was, but it's it must be important, because we're getting it. Yeah, I didn't catch it either. As Jet really gets... Oh, it's a glove. Points. Yeah, we want that. <laughs> okay, so Death Mountain is really seems to be the play here. Yeah, I mean, the game gave us a flute, so it makes sense. Yeah, I imagine Megawatt's going to head over to Death Mountain shortly, since he's the one that has the flute on the Fendrana Drifter's side. Uh, 
Oh, and here's our Dark World map check um, with Green Pendant Mire, Five Six Crystals, Thieves, and Swamp, and Other Pendants, Pod, and Turtle Rock. Well, Pod and Turtle Rock generally are nice thing nice uh, dungeons to have as pendants, except that uh, when they're pendants, because they have so many items, not unusual for them to have something, and uh, so fortunately Ether Tablet is dead. Just some arrows that, uh, if we need arrows, I mean, I suppose if some, somebody starts to climb without arrows, they can go get them, but we don't have to deal with them, <laughs> so it's not... <laughs> Emergency <laughs> supply. <laughs> Emergency <laughs> supply. <laughs> and we've certainly seen that kind of thing happen, where you get the, the, the poor player has to go outside and start digging up for arrows, but uh, uh, we probably won't need them uh, for the climb. That, that kill room taking a bit for jet there in desert. What way to selection of enemies, but we do oh, need to go oh, to right oh. side desert. <laughs> yeah, we need that moon pearl. So that's good for the drifters because it was starting to look like uh, they were going to miss, you know, the important stuff. And now it turns out, no, there's something important in, in desert as well. Uh, looks like Jet's going to head over to grab that flute. Uh, did you catch who the boss is of... I can never catch who the boss is when they do these map checks. It's not Cold Stare, we would have turned back. <laughs> right, so... I mean, most of the other bosses... Uh, well, Vitreous is, is really awful, if if that's the answer. But the others, not so bad. They can f appear up here. I might have left if it was a Viddy. Uh, it's just a moth. Yeah. Which, moth you know, honestly, like, Moth is, yeah, take Moth out of his normal arena, and he's a much easier fight, but this is still going to be 16 slashes, or, uh, or, um, 8 spins, because we don't have any other weapons. Yeah, Misha going for those 16 slashes, I think we're up to 10 or 11. There we go. And what do we have? The small key. <laughs> <laughs> and we can't oh, actually do we, the basement we, we without can't a fire do, source. Yeah, no fire source yet. But it's our first crystal. We needed to do this at some point. Yeah, you didn't get anything else. So I imagine I could I could definitely see Tile Rumi sending Plasma Kappa to East Death Mountain. Uh, and not worry about having him do uh, Hera right away. What was Kappa doing there, pushing against it, it trying to line up that bomb I, jump, I which he then know. didn't get? That, that that bomb jump is a little trickier. Uh, not only do you, it's a, a fairly precise location, plus you have to push forward a little bit uh, to help the the bomb jump al along. All right, Jamie sure is going to go ahead and do. Uh, East Death Mountain, so we'll see if Plasma Kappa actually does Hera. I mean, I could see skipping it for now and, and trying to come back when you have a fire source or in go mode, either way. Meanwhile, Jet and Megawatt are going to hit Hera at the same time. So yeah, have have and Megawatt, Megawatt scouted the inside of Spec Rock, so they both know about those gloves. They've decided, hey, we're going to descend anyway. Or I guess Jet's getting them. Uh, yeah, right I wonder. Away. I wonder if Jet's gonna be going East Death Mountain, and Megawatt goes and does uh, Hera. And were those myths in in Paradox that Jamie Misha just got? Um. Uh, according to the tracker, I'd say yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that'll be interesting for Fendron and Drifters because Jet has the Moon Pearl, so he can then do Dark Death Mountain. Yes. And actually, this kind of works out well for them because uh, we, they did ha they are having Megawatt do Hera and sending Jet to the east, so those mitts will work out really well. And let's see if Spiral Cave has anything for us. And Plasma Kappa, where are we heading? Pro oh, back to... Oh, it's a bow! Okay. That's, I guess it's silvers now. Yeah. It's really nice to have, especially, you know, a random Vitreous shows up. We're going to have silvers. All our runners should be getting that. Right, and even something like uh, Helmet King or Argus silvers can make the fight quite a bit easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And 
And Jamie, you're heading into Eastern. Oh, there's a lamp. Okay. Ah, okay. Jamie sure has a lamp heading into Eastern. Gonna go ahead and finish that while I assume Plasma Kappa will try and search out that Moon Pearl in Desert. After Except he that he's on the mountain right now. Yeah, I mean, I. Well, well I, I mean, myths. Yeah, you're you want to get the myths. Down myths. You know, it's myths and mirror. So that often, you know, the the, the infamous uh, Moon Pearl in uh, in Checkerboard is on the table for these guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's close, except the book allowed it would have allowed them to get it earlier. So the only real problem is they're not going to be able to actually get the items on Dark Death Mountain. I mean, Kappa could go ahead and do Super Bunny as a Super Bunny, but uh, that's really slow, so I don't think that's going to happen. There's Jet in Spiral Cave, gets Silvers. Megawatt gets Fendrana Drifters there, first crystal. So yeah, here's our look at Dark Death Mountain. We'll see if there's anything uh, big here that Tile Roomies would be leaving behind, or if it's just kind of junk. And now Megawatt's going to go ahead and get that glove. Just, okay, we already knew there was just money in the big chest. But no one's checked Zora yet, so picking up more money is probably good. Uh, it's, we never got to the big key chest. So that's going to be a new check. We got a bit of health there out of uh, Super Bunny Cave. Though, <laughs> the I am sure... Chicken. The poor chicken! Jamie, she just ran right into the poor chicken. Oh my god, all these <laughs> red guards in here. <laughs> That's a lagorific room, uh, and also explains why Megawatt took a death in there. Okay, we have Bombos for TR, in case we need it. We may not need any medallions, but medallions in Enemize are pretty nice. Yeah, they can definitely clear out some kill rooms nicely. Okay, so we got Hookshot Cave on Jet Side. And... A bottle? Okay, nothing in Hookshot Cave. It looks like Plasma Kappa used the mirror trick to get into um, Mire Shed. I don't think there's anything there. I only saw the heart piece. Yeah, so we can skip Dark Death Mountain. And Jet's not even going to bother with Hera. My guess is he's they're going to try and get it for Jet in go mode. Uh, at the very least, he'll do it when um, when they're running low in location, so he can because he can get the basement item. And we've now seen three bottles for whatever that's worth. Yeah, sick kid had money. I think it wasn't anything significant. And Zora Ledge is just money today. The lag. <laughs> Yeah, Jay Misha's still at five hearts. All the other runners have quite a bit more. I guess Megawatt's only at six. Oh, yeah. Jay, Jay Misha, you need to go to Zora the Vanilla Way. <laughs> <laughs> no flippers, no water walk. So, Tile Rubies are going to find their Moon Pro momentarily. Okay, that was Quake, I think, to open up Mire. Now, again, we don't really want to go there. And Zora gives us a stylish shirt. Uh, in Animizer, you are not going to say no to that. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know that our second runners are going to check, uh, go all the way out of their way for Zora to get that. It might yeah. depend. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on where the other male upgrade is, how many hearts at the end, what kind of weaponry. You know, like, I, I don't think it's a clear cut yes or no until you get to the end game. It's like, you know, maybe I do want that blue male. Or, you know, you're at the end game, you got a bazillion hearts. And the other well, well and also, g given the health for each runner, Jay Meesher is the perfect runner to have gotten that yes. mail. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jet's going to go check out Skull Woods. Uh, 
All right, there's gonna be okay. The next, it's the next chest. We're gonna see the moon pearl for plasma kappa. So, Isle Rumi's did not beat Eastern. Um, does that mean it's a Trinex? Uh, my guess is it's either Trinex. Okay, Furious okay, Magic, one of our trackers. Me. Yeah, saying it is a Trinex. Uh, not not able to do that yet, and also means we will require the Ice Rod today. Uh, and you know, as as annoying as the Trinex can be, uh, I do think it's better to know that you have a Trinex. Uh, that's not necessarily the GT one. Oh, Sword in uh in Skull Woods for Jet. So we get now have Master Sword. And I did not see what rod that was, but it was uh, a rod. It, it's so <laughs> hard on these four-player screens. I, to, yeah, the, the color know. just gets washed out. Let's see. If, if, if he goes to, okay, I was going to say, if uh, if he goes towards the back, it's fire rod. It is? Maybe not. It was I, definitely I, fire, but he's not going to the back. That's, well, I mean... <sighs> I mean, I guess he got both items, so... Unless he wants to rush the boss right now yeah. and he does have the hook shot so the only uh boss he can't kill is the is trinex and well trinex can't be in skull woods so i'm a little surprised he didn't go for it <laughs> yeah but yeah i mean there's not going to be an item on there like you say so and the the uh the skull woods arena is kind of nasty for a lot of different enemies and Plasma Kappa takes down Vanilla Landmos in Desert, which Megawatt is also just about to do. Oh, Flippers. Okay, Flippers in Graveyard, in Graveyard Ledge. Ledge. So, okay, so what do we... We, we need a hammer. Uh, we may not need a Cane of Samaria. Uh, it depends on where the GT Vicky is, but we don't necessarily need to go into Mire or Turtle Rock. Um... So do we really just need hammer and ice rod? Ice rod, yeah, hammer, hammer, ice rod. And guess which one is better to have as your go mode? Item? <laughs> <laughs> we want the ice rod first. <laughs> All right, village outcast for jet. And for plasma kappa. Gonna get a little high five going here. Okay, yeah, more see. or less a high five. Yeah, I mean they're in the same general vicinity. Okay, so Thieves Town, we got an item. Thieves Town is weird in in um in boss shuffle because you can get kind of the so-called god Thieves Town where you have three items in the front and item on the boss, and otherwise you end up with a. Uh, a, a glorified left side swamp. <laughs> uh, what medallion did Jet grab? I missed That was it. ether. Okay. That was, that was an ether medallion. Hopefully we don't need medallions other than for enemy rooms. Well, um, ether doesn't do anything for us anyway because we know the medallion requirements for... Oh, that's true. That's Meyer true. and TR. <laughs> so, but, you know, ether is faster than Bombos and, you know, while it's not quite as powerful as Bombos... The fact that it's faster is uh, kind of nice. We did see see the map check or the compass check, and we uh, I don't know what boss it is, but it looks like uh, Jet's gonna go for it. Okay, so that's two items in the front. So if the boss drops a third, then we're only orphaning one in the back. Oh, there was a shovel in 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 fire shed. That's fun. And Argus, yeah, this is... This is pretty easy. Uh, it'd be nice to have a better sword for it, but with sword spins, it's not too bad. Well, I mean, you're certainly glad you picked up the Master Sword, at least. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Looks like Megawatt's gonna get his Master Sword shortly. Yeah, Tile Rumies have not been to Skull Woods yet. Yeah, good items in Skull Woods, you want them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, two items in the back of uh, Thieves Town. 
two items and the small key. Yes. If we were just looking for the hammer, you could check it and not be worried about um, orphaning the big chest, but... Wow, if the big chest had the ice rod, that would be really, really bad. So Megawatt also not going to the boss of Skullwoods right now. Yeah, I wonder what they're waiting on that for. And looks like he is going to grab his flippers. We're going to get a smith chain start over on Plasma Kappa's so, side. So, Megawatt scouted Bumper Ledge, which Jet had already scouted. Do we think Jet didn't tell Megawatt? Megawatt forgot? Megawatt just has that strong force of habit? Uh, any or all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know, like, I, I could see, you know, for me running, uh, I go by the, the, the cave, you know, but go by bumper ledge, and I see something that I know is nothing, and then my, my uh, partner asked me what was there, I said, oh, shoot, I don't remember, but I think it was nothing, maybe you should double check. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to burn is a nice find over in the dig game. Uh, Hanaburna, another one of those items that, you know, I, I call them luxury items. Another one is luxury items that just in Enemizer are, are so much more uh, useful and more important. Hey, okay, Misha, you're seeing the nothing that is Hookshot Cave. I mean, you got a bottle of green. That's not so bad, but you're, you know, you're not happy with that. <laughs> I like this routing from Megawatt because he never did do Zora because he bonked out of right. Waterwalk, but now he has the flippers and he can combine Catfish and Zora. Yeah, I like this too. And now he has 20 bucks more. Now the shovel turns into nothing. Plasma Cap is going to want to stay in the Dark World to turn in this purple chest so he can hit Hype Cave at the end. Jamie sure headed towards Skullwood is going to find that sword and fire rod. We'll see if he decides to go kill the boss. So, Makawalt's going to get that mail upgrade. Oof, Lionel's right by the derp. I hope this... Uh, is he close enough? Yes, he is close enough. Uh, it's a little scary. You can... Uh, I, 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 There's a lot of leeway on that, but I have seen it failed when you're on the other side of the... Uh, of the locksmith guy. Oh, look at that Beemos on Jet's side. Oh my. Right, Plasma Kappa is going to be the first to show us Hype Cave. Looked like there was nothing on the Bombos tablet. Although he does have the mat the, the uh, fighter sword, so he wouldn't have been able to get the item. Jet with that master sword will get the item, so probably loses a little bit of time. All right, Hype Cave, what do you got for us today? Heart piece. Ooh, Jet taking a death. And Where was that? So I didn't great even place. see. It was right after turning in the purple chest. He didn't make it all the way to Bombo's tablet. You oh. got a Quake medallion in... Uh, <laughs> nice well, game. I guess Myers now entered the equation. It, 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 it sure has. But we still can't beat it. No, but, you know, two items in Meyer, And, you know, it's very common that the boss of Meyer does not have an item. Uh... Because it's, you know, because the small keys can be there. But it is the green pendant, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jet's mirror portal still there. So he's going to be able to get the Pombos tablet. So that's at least good. <laughs> so we have a very stuck Moldorm in Skull Woods here. He's only got two eyes. That's so boring. <laughs> <laughs> Which means that any other Moldorm in the game will also only have two eyes. I know. I, I like the eight-eyed Moldorm, or the one-eyed Moldorm with two eyes. Eh. What's the point of, of Boss Shuffle if you're going to have only a, a, a two-eyed Moldorm? 
But yeah, I, I'm now even more confused as to why Jet and Mega I, mean, I guess they didn't find the compass and, you know, like, there's some nasty things that can be there, but... I don't know, they wanted to be able to double back more easily. I guess, that that's the only thing I can think of. And here's oh, our there's, pet okay. check. Okay, Kana Samaria on Lake Hylia Island. Which, you know, again, we may not require it, but... It sure is nice to have. And Ped is dead. Darn. Well, Tracy, you were saying nice to have, but now, um, green pendants available. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> it looks like Megawatt is going to be the first of our runners into pod. I mean, it's a reasonable place to go. Um, no surprise it doesn't go into ice. With that Cana Samaria hookshot. You got all the things you would want. Jet's gonna do Swamp, also a, a, a crystal. So yeah, I'm a little surprised you would start uh, prioritizing Pendant Dungeons right now. Rather than Crystals. I mean, granted, Pendant Pod regularly has things that you need. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But well, and considering Fendron Drifters did get swept by JKLOL. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> was, was, was there they, some they, pod they, action they're, there? They're <laughs> trying to channel their true. inner Leoria <laughs> and doing pendant pod. But all we're missing is the hammer. Now, of course, Jet's going to be able to do Swamp Palace without the hammer. Um, right, Specky Clip has definitely changed the meta here. Like, even though you know that Hammer isn't any of these others, yeah, it makes sense to go in, and that way you get that one logical check done just in case yep. it's the Hammer, and now you can and clear you it as can, well. You can continue on. You can. I don't know how I feel about doing left side swamp here. The ice rock can be anywhere. You don't have to think about that in terms of whether it's behind the Hammer, because like it it can be, but. That's a that's a lot of time for a completely out of logic check that uh, can only have one of the, your items, and that would ex also explains why Megawatt's in uh, pod looking for the hammer instead of going to ice. Hammerless ice is kind of awful as well. Because when I said you have everything you'd want, I, we don't have everything you'd want. We have, we're missing a very key component. We're missing the hammer. And hey, there's a mushroom sitting in. Uh compass chest of swamp all that won't be a hammer it could be an ice rod uh, jet is going to go straight to the back that us the cannon guards that we only see in animizer oh and shout out to this fire rod that's going to make a uh, diaper <laughs> down a little more tricky than usual to the point where i would seriously consider just not bothering Yeah, definitely better to have Samaria in this case. Uh, which Megawatt does, but Jet doesn't. Yeah, just Jet decided not to get it yet. Maybe in hopes that the hammer would be in that first check and he'd be able to get it and go straight into Ice Palace. But yeah, I, I would just bail on this, honestly. Yeah, same. Just seems like too much trouble to try to line it up. Oh, nope, we oh, got, got it. got it. Good job, wow. Jet. And of course we get a map immediately, so there are items on left side. And this is why Jet is in the very small company of people who have both who have won both the main tournament and league. Although that didn't the, when he won the main tournament, we didn't have Diver Down yet. Or it was either just discovered or about to be discovered when he won that tournament. Yeah, I think it was right around when Diver Down was discovered. Yeah, for those that missed it, yeah, he won the, the 2019 tournament, which, you know, went into 2020. Uh, and Diver Down was, and Icebreaker for that matter, were discovered, I want to say February, maybe March of 2020. It was right around that time. Yeah, because I remember... Because um, it, it got legalized council, during League. <laughs> the council legalized it while League Season 2 was yeah. going on. I yep, remember. I remember that. <laughs> Okay, so I believe Megawatt got some powder in pot. I'm not sure he's gotten anything else. 
Well, that's another check. It, it indeed is. And if there's something on the bat, Jet, and if Jet still has that mushroom, I believe he does. He could do a fake powder. I hope Jet's stream's okay. Yeah, it looks like his stream is fine. I suppose we could switch over to, I think it's, I think Kappa has. Oh, oh no, there we we're go. Back. We're good. And yeah, now have, he's getting some Aria. We have two runners with unusable audio, so you have to be, you have to be careful who we, who we select. <laughs> Plasma Kappa is going to go ahead and do this this Ice Palace bomb jump. Um, I'm a little surprised he didn't grab the cane, but... I also, if, if the hammer's in here, you, you'll need that. And if the hammer's not in here, then... You're just wasting a little... Well, you're not wasting necessarily time, but it's getting to Ice T that's going to slow you down. Oh, hey, there's the other mail upgrade. Okay, so everybody should be on blue mail at some point, I assume. Yeah, Megawatt's already on red. Yeah, he must have done that check while I wasn't looking. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think he, you know, finished his flipper checks at some point. Yeah, and he looks like he's gonna... We'll see if he does the back of Thieves Town. I could see him doing that since uh, Jet's already done the boss. And yeah, we're starting to run out of things to do. And then he could... he can. The thing he can do afterwards is he can go mirror into the, the magic bat since... Uh, yeah, uh, since he doesn't need to worry about Smith Chain. Right. I assume Jet... Peaked in cave 45 while doing Smith Chain, though I didn't yeah, notice what yeah. it was. Well, yeah, uh, it was something not needed. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it twice, and I didn't. Re re it didn't register either time. Which you know, our, our tracker to OJ says it was a big 20. So, um, yeah, that's the kind of thing that you see. You know, that 10 arrows. You know, three bombs. The kind of thing that you just immediately dismiss. And the reason why Ice Palace and, and Misery Mire are impossible to count because. You see those items, you dismiss them, and then you're like, wait a minute, have I gotten two items yet? Or three, in, in the case of ice. <laughs> the dungeons that don't use up all your small keys. Okay, so Jet hitting the switch here, I guess, just in case we find the hammer? Yeah, I mean... I... Hmm... I'm not sure he, I like hitting the switch here, because more likely you're going to want the easier path to ice tea. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking, that, like, you're almost certainly going to want to check ice tea, and you may not be able to go to the boss. Also of note, if there's not a small key in one of these chests, he's actually not going to be able to um, get there from this direction. And there was a it was a temper sword in ice tea, so you know he's gonna want that. Oh, I missed that, but yes, I guess Plasma Kappa found that. Okay, so now if there's not a small key here, uh, Jet's done. Yep. Yeah, this this yeah, you got a mirror out now. I mean, there is the option. I. I... I don't know if it's kind of a slow play, but one thing you can do is you could steal the conveyor key and mirror out. I kind of like that play better in a cross key setting than in a um, in a regular uh, map setting though, or, or in a regular key setting. Because you're just you're getting that extra item. And here's our magic bat look from Jamie Sure. Yeah, and make what is in the back of these tone. Uh, magic bat just with the heart heart piece. Oh, oh, oh my. Well, well, that's hammer go mode for Pendrana Drifters. Unfortunately, that ice rod's in a bad enough place that Tyler Ruby's may still not get a hammer go mode because I don't know when they do yeah. that. Yeah, 
I, I was about to say you got your wish for a hammer go mode. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, it's hammer no mode for us. <laughs> and Megawatt doesn't even need to sacrifice us. No, 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 no. He still does need the he hammer, so that is a portal sacrifice. But yeah, but it's not a big just deal. Just looking for we, the hammer. We know, well, we, he knows that there's nothing that he hard requires. Uh, in the rest of the area, I, except where, where was the mushroom? Oh no, he had yeah. Where did Jet find the mushroom? Uh, that was hammer locked in swamp. Okay, then the mushroom is completely relevant. Uh, except, well, I mean, if if the powder had turned up the hammer, then Jet can just use the the mushroom instead of running into Pod to get uh, the powder. Uh, as nice as of an item as powder is, as much as you really want to have it. Um, Hot Dark Maze is not where you want to go to get an item. Okay, Jamie sure now in Thieves Town. Hopefully he also does the back. So, Tracy. Hammer on Misery Mire or Green Pendant? I mean, at least we can avoid Turtle Rock. But yeah, uh, Misery Mire seems like a really good place to look now. Okay, Chad asking where was Ice Rod. It was in the Maiden Cell in uh, Thieves Town. So... Go ahead and switch to some different audio while Jet's freezing issues continue. And with Jamie Sure beating the Thieves boss, I wonder if he'll go back in. Yeah, this is going to be a big moment right here. Because it seems like uh, Tile Rumi's best opportunity to go back into Thieves and find the fire at the Ice Rod. Now, to be fair, it doesn't look like Plaza Kappa has done Thieves Town either, so he could do it later. But yeah, I would, I imagine, yeah, okay, he's going back okay. in. That means he's going to get the, get, he's going to get that ice rod. And we'll, and Tyler Rumi's will also get the hammer, the nice, uh, uh, pushy hammer go mode. Jet does get his tempered sword. Sneaking it out from below that crystal roller. Yeah, I imagine our runners are all going to pick that up unless we find another sword elsewhere because the difference between tempered and, and master sword is too much uh we're gonna be fighting a trinex for sure uh if ice trinex were to show up uh you want the strongest sword possible and plasma cap is gonna be the first one into misery mire Still, still curious why neither of our French runner drifters runners has has gone into uh, the back of Skull Woods to do that. Like I feel like like I feel like they have a small lead. I feel like they'd have a, a big lead if they had just done that when they were there. It's going to be an extra bit of backtracking and, and extra time lost to do it now. Chat asking, what are the options for Hammer? Um, mostly Misery Mire. There's not a lot left. I'm trying to think if there is anything else left. Like Spike Caves behind the Hammer. Um, we've yeah, done all Pyramid the ice Fairies logically behind the Hammer. Yep. Um, we've done all of Ice and Pod that we can do without the Hammer. Um, we maybe haven't seen Armos Knight, so that could be a possibility. I don't know if there's another item in Eastern or not. Oh, well, there oh, it is in Meyer. Meyer. Yep, there it is. Bridge test. Nice, easy location, too. Yeah. Also, unfortunately for the Pendron Drifters, Megawatt's not the one with the Tempered Sword for this track. Yeah, I, I was thinking that, too. <laughs> he, he does have the Blue Goo, so we don't need to worry about him being out of magic there. We'll see if Jet go falls into Misery Mire. Yeah, because Tile Roomies are in go mode. Yes. That is a very fast go mode. I mean, that happens with this mode sometimes. <laughs> I uh, mean, co-op in general. Yeah, and they also have a slight crystal lead. And looks like uh, Jet is going into Mire, so Fendron and Drifters will have their 
go mode very soon. Quake was in Hype Cave, right? What was Quake? Yeah. Okay, so Hype Cave Hype. <laughs> oh, nice half magic on Tri. <laughs> I mean, good right news is you're guaranteed you to get it, but you know, it would have been nice to have it a little bit sooner. But yeah, I feel like Tower Rooms is just a tiny bit ahead here. Uh, yeah. On the, back, uh, the, the fact that they went and did Skull Woods, I, I just don't understand why uh, Fendrana didn't didn't do Skull, finish Skull Woods when they were there. I mean, we're tied up on the Crystal Count, but um, the fact that Tile Rumies are already in Go mode, I mean, yeah, I think does put them a little ahead. Yeah, and Fendrana is going to be in Go mode very shortly. This isn't going to take very long for Jet to find this hammer. Meanwhile, it looks like Megawatt's going to finally do that that poor yeah, kill that poor Moldorm. <laughs> sitting in the back of Skull Woods. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this, this whole time running through here, just that's time that uh, you're giving to the, to the other team by going and having to do this now instead of going and just doing it when you were there the first time. Yeah, chat also reminding us that Megawatt has to use CAC Portal to get all the way around to Hype Cave to get Quake. To get Quake, to get into Mire, yeah, that's true. Now that we know that there is something in Hype Cave that he needs. And it looks like Jet's going to go ahead and do... Uh, he, he did pick up that hammer, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's on his tractor, even. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, he's he's going to go ahead and do Trinex. Unfortunately, we don't have to go back into Pod. Nice Pod bait. Uh, nothing... Nothing significant in there. I mean, we did get a nice uh, powder for, for two of our runners, but other than that... But we, we are trading crystals here. That's the seventh crystal for Tile Roomies and... Fendrana Drifters will have theirs in less than a minute. But yeah, Jamie sure is going to get that hammer right now. Whereas, yeah, like Megawatt has a few steps to go to, go through before he can get his. At least we have boots to run with. Yeah, I think Megawatt has the mirror out. You know, it's such a path through Skull Woods, it's faster to mirror, flute back to yeah. three, and then use the portal Just again. Lift, yeah, lift the rock. Jet's well on his way to Trinex. Mm, Chat suggesting that Jay Meesher and Megawatt will be stuck on Master Sword. I, I think I'd go get that, that uh, Tempered Sword. Ice T's a little out of the way, but. Um. I think it's, oh, I think I just it's realized... worth the time. Plasma Kappa's tracker. He he's got thieves done, not uh swamp. He's about to do swamp. Oh right, right. We are at seven to seven now. Uh Jet's gonna get his eight get the, his team's eighth crystal shortly. And he does have the tempered sword. But yeah, it's yeah gonna be Jet, Jet to see... got the Tempered Sword because he dived ice. Megawatt hasn't been into ice yet. Right. It will be interesting to see if if uh, these runners, uh, Jay Meesher and Megawatt, uh, do or don't pick up the, the Tempered Sword. Because uh, there hasn't been one on path anywhere. Uh, and that is, you know, like Ice-T is, is the worst spot in that dungeon. So if you're going to skip a location, that is the lo location you want to skip. This is... Mm interesting on Megawatt's side, specifically doing Swamp before Hype Cave. I mean, he doesn't need the hammer to do it, so it makes sense. Other than you're on Fighter Swords, that not Fighter Sword, Master Sword, so it's nice to... Well, except that it, it wouldn't even be to get the hammer, it would be to get Quake. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, coming back to Swamp with the hammer just... Yeah, I no, I, just makes more I, I was more just thinking up to Hype Cave and then down to Swamp rather than down to Swamp and then up to Hype Cave. I mean, I would probably go up to Hype Cave first because I'd be afraid I'd forget to do it. 
Yeah. Well, I don't know which is faster, but that, I would that's be going to be <laughs> really bad if Megawatt forgets Hype Cave. Yes. That's a long way to go back again. In the meantime, Jet's going to go ahead and, and clean up desert. Both tile roomies are well on their way to the boss of Swamp. I think everyone's going to have an easier time with Diver Down than Jet did since everyone else is doing it with Samaria. Mm hmm. Also, shout outs to when the compass is on the boss of, uh, of a boss shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, game. It's allowed to be there. The game just has to give it to you before the dungeon prize. That's right. <laughs> and Plasma Kappa is going to head over and finish up Ice Palace. So, about to be nine crystals for each team. So, we're really just trading off crystals. I don't even know who's ahead at this point. Yeah, I mean, it's it's going to, you know, yeah. I mean, it is Enemizer. So, the, the, the one of the things that's uh, relevant in Enemizer that's usually not relevant in any other mode uh, is in the GT climb. First of all, um, sometimes rooms are easier. It's actually pretty common for the rooms to be easier. Sometimes they're harder. And sometimes there are wall masters in very bad spots. <laughs> and I, it, I, I, I've it, definitely it, seen <laughs> wall masters at the very top of GT. Mm -hmm. And I have seen runners grabbed by wall ma masters at the very top of GT. And that's a, that's a, a real game changer. Uh, and that's just not something you normally worry about. Because players just generally don't die on the GT climb. And Jeff's finally unfrozen. We will assume he beat Desert. And there's finally Megawatt's <laughs> Quake. This is the classic, which chest was it in? I don't remember. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be important. <laughs> but hey, he has a stylish fire shield. I, I like, you know, I like the fire shield. The fire shield is useful. It's useful in the blind fight if we fight a blind. Um... It looks kind of neat, you know, and it doesn't cover everything like the mirror shield does. <laughs> I guess actually this amount of time that Megawatt's taking to go into Mire to get the hammer that everyone else already has probably means that Tile Rumi's have a small lead. Yeah. Ice Palace will be Megawatt's last dungeon. Uh, Jet needs to finish up Skull Woods, needs to go back into Ice, and needs to uh, do a quick dip into Hera to finish that off. Uh, Jamie Sure, Ice Eastern. Uh, Plasma Kappa, Kappa needs Ice Eastern, and again, also the quick dip into, into Hera. <laughs> Poor Moldorm. That <laughs> sad little Moldorm. Oh, gosh. Jet's the only person that has gotten to do this with a tempered sword, though. That was nice and fast. All those mini Moldorms in Meyer 2 reminded me of one of the April Fool's Day hacks, where, like, you go into Smiths, and when they're hammering away, every hammer strike releases a mini Moldorm. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I, I stopped playing the April Fool's Day. It was, <laughs> it was just too annoying. Oh, I did very as, as someone who who doesn't actually prefer quick swap. I, I was very amused by the uh, pay a rupee for every quick swap you did. <laughs> <laughs> quite quite enjoyed that. <laughs> Okay, so Jamie Meesher into Ice Puzzles. Yeah, we're going to see if, if uh, Jamie Meesher picks up that Tempered Sword. Uh, Megawatt's heading to get some potions. This might be an indication that maybe he's not going to pick up the Tempered Sword. And that, that was just a nice palace clear for Kappa. Yes, I wasn't looking. I didn't actually see who the boss was. Now, Jamie Meesher wants that Tempered, and I don't blame him. 
Like, you, you kind of have to, for yourself, decide, is this going to say, oh, my God, I did not see that there was a big roller here. <laughs> here yeah, before. I made a comment about it when Jack <laughs> got it, that he was, like, du ducking just under the roller. Wow, that's that's a big ouch. Um, but, yeah, I think in individually, you know, you have to kind of assess, you know, how much time am I going to gain or lose uh, with this tempered sword. Uh, maybe what with two bottles and a cape? Like, a cape, you know... It's a really nice item to have uh, if you're stuck on Master Sword, and would wouldn't make it better. We'll see if he we'll, we'll see what he decides to do. I don't, I don't know what was in in that uh, chest, but he did pick it up. What Megawatt? Yeah, that might have been the. That, that was the map. That was the map. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know again that's, if this is a communication. That's... Uh, that's probably, that one, that one I suspect is muscle memory. <laughs> I mean, why he even beat everyone in the room rather than just in and out. Well, yeah, like, that's muscle memory. You walk in and you're like, I've done it at many, many times in go mode where it's like, <laughs> why am I killing these uh, enemies? Well, might as well open the door and, and might as well uh, open the chest now that I've killed all the enemies. Whereas the big key is actually something you need. If you don't hit the switch, yeah. Oh, we're going to see what's in this chest. Maybe it's a sword and he doesn't have to go to ice tea. Nope. <laughs> Time for Plasma Kappa to fight off Trinex. Much better to have a tempered sword on this fight. Mega Walk wants everything out of ice. I'm really not sure why. Did yeah, you forget I don't he was in go this. mode altogether? I mean, it's good that he's gonna get this tempered sword, but he didn't need to pick up all the other stuff. Let's see, yeah, Jet gonna head up to the mountain and we'll now head into Hera, right before going to GT. As Megawatt fights off the roller. <laughs> don't die to the roller, please. He's using the cape, I, I don't yeah. disagree with that. <laughs> I mean, that's why the cape and the blue cane are so powerful in Animizer. <laughs> I mean, at least that Armos boss is an absolute cinch with the silvers and everything. So it's not like you have to save your health and magic yep. with Cold Stair like you wouldn't yep. uh, vanilla enemies. And it's not like there's ice at the on the boss floor either, which is something. If it just feels like Ice Palace should have a boss on ice, but thankfully it does not, because you. Don't really want to be fighting cold stir on ice uh, normally. Yeah, Jet's actually going to be the actually Jet will be the first one into GT because Plasma Kappa, not far behind him, also has to do Hera. And then Mega, yeah, I'm gonna put uh, Mega Wand and Jet and the Finjano Drifters back in the lead here because uh, Jet's gonna get into GT first, and Mega Wand already has his crystal out of ice. That's his seventh, and so he'll head over to GT. Yeah, that that is definitely a lead because Jay Misha's gonna have to do the same mountain climb that Mega Wand's about to do. Yep. In the meantime, we can start thinking about. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, Jet's gonna have to still has to get to the Dark World. They, they, I believe, yeah. So it looks like Plasma Kappa mirrored in front of GT, and Jet uh, decided to go the route of hitting Hera, and then. Uh, yes, I've I've been told Jet's route is actually faster when you're in this situation. Yeah, I, I've it, we always thought it was the other way around, and more recently, uh, somebody must have timed it and said you all were wrong. <laughs> but I don't know. But I still think Jet's going to get there first. Yeah, just barely, but I think so. Just because of the cutscene that Plasma Kappa still has to go through. Yep. 
Um, this is still pretty close though. I mean, within GT, key, big key routing within bad bosses in bad places. Uh, we don't wish an Ice Trinox on anyone, but um, not out of their own possibilities, because I don't think we we haven't seen duplicates, I don't think. Even if we had, uh, even if we have seen duplicates, uh, we certainly haven't seen all of them. And get your last predictions in if you want to, you See, know, waste your channel points. We, we went, we went, what, four straight, four straight weeks without big key guessing games? <laughs> and suddenly we're doing it again. Yeah. So the chat's not used to it anymore. <laughs> And it's not on the torch. So I'm guessing Megawatt will go right here. Um, since uh, Fendrana Drifters are pretty coordinated. Well, you see a lot of Dark Magician routes. It could be the Jet. Jet might mirror out and go right and have Megawatt go, go left. We'll see. A lot of the uh, priority to uh, this routing is... Uh, Try and hit the uh, boss last. Because even if it's not nice, Trinex, there's still a lot of bosses you'd really rather not fight if you can avoid it. Okay, so they're sending Jet right here and Megawatt. Yeah, go and Megawatt's going to just skip the Stalfos room. I think there were a couple of keys there, so hopefully. You know, he's got. Okay. Yeah, so hopefully that doesn't get him into trouble missing out on keys. Yeah, I like the use of uh, Ether from Plasma Kappa there. Uh, so there was only one oh, small just one. Oh, just room. I, fine. Megawatt's fine. Uh, small key in um, Fire Snake. Hey, room, look, a Vanilla it, Compass. <laughs> makes it kind of likely that Rando Room is the answer. It doesn't force Rando Room to right. be the answer, but. It definitely makes it likely. Yeah, there is quite a bit of logic in, in GT small keys. And there yeah, we go, there my is. favorite chest. But the problem with GT small key logic is it depends on knowing what's in tile room. And so we it's very hard to actually be actually use that, that logic. <laughs> Right. If Tile Room there. isn't a small key, then Rando Room had to have the big key, but we don't right. know that. And there's the big key for Tile Roomies. Uh, Jay Meesher is probably going to mirror in a yeah, hurry. Yeah, immediately. Yep. yep. No other nice things in, in the basement that we can get. There is a sword up for grabs. Um, if there's a cold stair at the top, a sword would be really useful. I'm trying to think if there's any other bosses that... I mean, we could still run into a Trinex, so we can't run into a Trinex uh, with a, a, a gold sword, even if it's at the top, because it comes first. We can't and run into Blind, so I guess we're just never going to see Blind this season. No, no Blind today. Uh, he's hanging out in one of the Pendant Dungeons, or maybe in, in the uh, in the ice. And we haven't seen Cold Stare or Viddy, though easily one of them could be at Landmo 2 and the other at mm. Moldorm 2. Yeah, I expect we're going to see at least one of them at, at Landmo 2. Uh, sorry, at, at Moldorm 2, because there's just not that many choices for that location. Gauntlet room's not too terrible today. So, how would you characterize, like, what ultimately gave Fendrana Drifters the game? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking early game routing. I, yeah. I actually liked theirs and yeah. thought it was a bit cleaner. Well, yeah, they got to the Moon Pearl a little bit earlier, and I think that made a big difference. Plus, being able to have one of them clear Dark Death Mountain while they were there, and with nothing on Dark Death Mountain, uh, it ends up being a big waste of time for the player that does it on the tile roomy side. Right. Um, 
And I, one I, of them I, did make a special trip for it. I forget who. Yeah, and, and I, I, I still question why they didn't do Skullwoods earlier, but in the end, they didn't end up hurting them. Because uh, they, they got both items and left. And one of the items was the fire rod, so it's like, just, just, just do it. <laughs> Ooh, uh, Plasma Kappa getting a bit bodied in the last room of Gauntlet here. He, he, that slowed him down quite a bit. Those Gauntlet rooms can be pretty nasty, and there's there's that powder be put to use, good use by Megawatt. <laughs> nice Kipto just hanging out there on the block. <laughs> <laughs> Much nicer than some of the other enemies we see in that room, uh, in Enemizer. We've now gone through the worst of the rooms. Now it's just a matter of watch out for any uh, wall masters. We are going to check these chests on Megawatt's side. You know, never. If you get another sword, could be useful if Cold Seer decides to show up here. I guess Megawatt just hoping for a butter sword there for this yeah. semi inevitable cold stare. I we mean, we never saw Helma King either, did we? No, no Helmosaur, no blind, no Helmosaur, and I don't think we saw an, uh, whoever. Uh, um, no, did we see? We must have seen something duplicated, or maybe I don't know. I, I it's so easy to lose track. <laughs> um. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ganon fight uh, confirmed easy. Uh, okay, Furious Magic, one of our trackers says we had two landmos. Okay, there you go. Makes sense. But yeah, I just realized that since we never saw Helma either, Hel Helma and Cold Stare were equally likely for Moldorm 2 at that point. Right. Both both uh, with the ability to show up there. Yeah, that butter sword would have been really nice before the Cold Stare fight. I mean, it's still nice for Ganon, but not. Uh, it was still a pretty quick cold stair fight. Yeah. We'll see if Plasma Kappa checks the chest. Maybe we want having a bit of trouble with this Aga 2 fight, so this is another place where Tile Roomies could make up some time. Finally gets it down. That was, I think, like five cycles. Also, we also we had no wall masters up the climb, which... Uh... Is definitely good for Jet and Megawatt. Um, Jamie Sher and Plasma Kappa, you know, might might have wanted a, a nice timely wall master on their opponents. <laughs> and yeah. hey, Plasma Kappa also grabbing that butter sword. The question is, do, do Jet or Jamie Sher Misha grab it? Jet having a much more difficult time with his cold stir fight. I I do hope he has a potion because uh, uh, that magic isn't gonna do it. We found enough. Um... Yeah. Yeah, okay. there we go. I do I was think gonna we say, had, like, yeah. everyone has two bottles. We saw three bottles in between the... Yeah, there was an early green one. I don't believe anybody actually used a bottle until right then on Jet's side. And Megawatt already on phase three of Ganon. That fight does go fast with the Butter Sword. Yeah, I mean, compared to the earlier race I did today where three of the runners were on Master Sword Silverless and the fourth was on Master Sword Silver. So <laughs> this is a little bit faster. And yep, all four runners do get that Butter Sword. I mean, it's a pretty free location unless, <laughs> unless you're hovering it. What do we want to call that? Cold Stairs' last possession today? Yes. <laughs> Did I just admit a 3-3 three, three from Jet? It looks like it's according to chat. <laughs> wow. That was not an easy Aga pattern no, for it really a wasn't. double triple. And get your GGs in chat for Megawatt, who will be the first of our runners to cross, but... Boy, Kappa and Jet are going to be not far behind, and Jamie sure won't even be that far behind them. Let's 
So Megawatt finishes with an official race time of 108.27. Yeah, unfortunately for uh, for Tyler Ramiz to catch up at this point, Jamie sure needs to finish ahead of, of Jet, and I just don't... I mean, Jet's already in Phase 3. Yeah, I mean, Jet, Jet would need to take Ganon Vol. Yeah. And that might... I mean, with average time, that might not even be enough. Also true, because... Plasma Cap is going to be a solid minute behind Megawatt here. As he does get Ganon exploding. And Jack gets Ganon exploding as well. Alright, seven only a seven second difference between those two runners. Plasma Kappa finishing up at 109.30, Jet finishing up at 109.37. Blazing fast seed. Yeah. I mean, some of these are when you when you add co-op. <laughs> I promise the next seed will be better. <laughs> better than this? I mean, we had hammer go mode. It doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> so we'll just wait for Jamie sure to finish up here and then we can... Oh, no! Oof. Well, uh, while Jay Meesher, uh is doing I think that, we have, we, everybody we have else all of our runners. Oh, yeah. Here. I mean, yeah. Like, you know, through the magic of delay. <laughs> uh, yeah. GG's, everyone. Yo, GG's. GG. GG. Yeah, so hammer go mode, anyone? Half the <laughs> dream. <laughs> I'm so happy we got that ice rod first. That would have been... <laughs> Potentially a lot worse. We didn't really have a lot left, but if Bombo showed up, then that would have been so bad. Oh yeah, I mean that the yeah that hammer because you could get that hammer before getting you know the back the the basement of Thieves Town and getting that mm -hmm. ice rod. And when we saw Jet and Mega walk get it, we're just like, well, one of them's gonna have yep. hammer go mode. Hopefully, they both will. <laughs> So I think that also uh, clinches the top seed in the division for you guys. I think so, yeah. Yep. It matters a little bit less now with how slightly differently playoffs are being handled. Because I think it only matters uh, on the scale of like the Light World Conference versus Dark World Conference. But this is still going to put us at second seed overall in our conference. Yeah. So pretty happy with that myself. Yeah, good place to be. You don't have to flip a coin against your mom's favorite rando team. <laughs> I mean, the coin flip would have been interesting. I, I always joke about the fact that if you go through the NFL playoff tiebreakers, at the very bottom, after weird weird tiebreakers dealing with points scored and stuff, there is a coin flip. <laughs> so yeah. it's not like it's not like the, the the ALTTPR league is the only one doing that sort of thing. <laughs> Uh, GG's to Jamie Sher, by the way, who has also joined us. Yep. Yeah, yeah, GG's, let's see, let's get that GG. time. Uh, 1.11.45. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Jet, you're playing it, and the, the, the term Jet Seed is, uh, I think a lot of people don't realize it was named after you because it's just such an apropos term. So, so fitting that you finish your season with the Jet Seed. The, the story behind it isn't that, like, I mean, the story behind it is that I would generate fast seeds. Right. So they were just like, oh, they're jet seeds, which is just so appropriate. But uh, <laughs> I didn't jet in this one. I had no part of this. <laughs> but it worked. I'd hesitate to even call it a jet seed, really. Like, just because it was hammer go mode doesn't mean we didn't almost, like, clear everything yeah. in our path. Yeah, I mean, to no, be it's fair, really yeah. hoping you find the items in the wrong order. Yeah. Because <laughs> well, even if I had... Yeah, go ahead. Even I, to, even I have to take a very, very awkward jaunt into Caneless size. At least I found the third sword. Yeah, I mean, I, it was we were questioning whether uh, uh, Jamie Sher and, and uh, Megawatt were going to go get those the the tempered swords. Uh, Megawatt looked like you were touring all of Ice Palace for some reason. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> we we kind of forgot where the big key was, which I wanted to make grabbing the tempered sword a bit easier mm -hmm. and. 
after I got it, I forgot that uh, I could just go. And I blanked on not needing a small key, so. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I, I definitely, I mean, 100% worth it. Assuming you don't have the, like, giga brain forethought to think, oh yeah, Moldorm 2 chest is definitely going to have this <laughs> sword. I mean, to be fair, there was a cold stare before that, that Moldorm 2 chest, so um, I think the tempered sword is probably good to have there anyway. Yeah, I feel like there's yeah. no situation where you don't pick up that sword yeah, on, no. when, sit, when still yeah. sitting on Master. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah, in Animizer, really... you just don't know what you're facing. That wasn't. Yeah. Wouldn't you have nice checked that? Wouldn't you have checked nice that? Anima... The... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, wouldn't you have checked that chest if this wasn't a mattering race, but it was a mattering race, but since it was, I just checked it for fun, and oh, I got one last item to call out. <laughs> the nice thing about Animizer is that Butter Sword's actually useful. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been great to have it before the very end of the game, but yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm just listen, uh, Animizer, you guys picked the perfect week to do it, because I was saying in the race room, the spookiest game I played all Halloween season was fake flippering over to uh, Zora area and like being boxed in by a red guard and an Octorok <laughs> who kept firing in all directions. Oh boy. Uh, that was, that was a fun uh, 30 seconds as I tried to figure out how to get myself out of it. Um, yeah, this mode is, this mode's wacky. Like, uh, you know, For sure. do all sorts of weird things. I, I listen. I don't know if Walsh is, uh, if our teammate Artie Walsh is listening, but I 100% feel you, buddy. After, uh, thankfully, I learned the lesson. I went and got a potion before going to finish off Eastern. But I don't know what what that ice head was doing. <laughs> it was doing some some funky stuff. Uh, and then yeah. I, I used all my magic. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I caught a. Yep. Oh, sorry. Oh, very nice. I don't like sinking in this mode. Mm -hmm. I was almost dead going to Ice T. Yeah, that roller in Ice T was mm -hmm. <laughs> quite the thing. A uh, lot, lot of cape usage in there. Uh, speaking of catching fairies, Jed, I was a little surprised that you turned down the bug net when you. So don't I... don't tell Megawa. I didn't tell him where it was. <laughs> okay, dude. We had we had a thing in the beginning where I'm like, we had a little chat like, I'm I'm gonna make sure to grab some safeties, you know, if powders on the way, pain or cape. I didn't mention bug net. I'm not <laughs> doing bug net. I have limits. I'll get blue potion. We're good. Yeah, that's pretty funny. I don't. It was like early on. I'm just like, eh. Oh yeah, it was in library. That's right, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 I, I skipped it. Sorry, Megawatt. Yeah. Good shout teammate. Outs. <laughs> mm. Sh shout out to the powder in the back of Pod that, like, no one <laughs> Next was to the go cape play. as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what an absolute waste of time that dungeon was. <laughs> Sil silvers were super nice. We had supers, like, very early. Yeah, everybody yeah. did. Yep. And at least Kane was in a reasonable location because there was no way I was getting cape or powder. Yeah, you know what's cool is scouting, uh, scouting locations. <laughs> we both cap in. I uh, yeah missed out on that. I, I I normally do that when I'm going over at the very beginning for uh, for Sahab, but I just skipped it this time for some reason. I don't mm. know. So we yeah, that was a fun surprise to find after Cap had already done uh, Ice Palace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we didn't realize that you hadn't scouted it, but yeah, I mean, in a seed that, you know, looks like the cane wasn't hard required for anything. Uh, there was a small key on the boss of ice, so I'm going to assume that it was logically required for Ice Palace. Um, I think that's a good point. He didn't but, yeah. actually need it at all. But, you know, I, like the, the, the scare, it's, it's always a little scary when you don't have a required cane for Meyer or Turtle Rock. And if you go into GT without a cane, you know, because yep, there's those five yep. locations, you know, it's, it's not like yeah. you can hover over to those or, you know, if, if you're missing the hook shot, you know, you, you just can't get it. Yeah, looks like cost me time and ice pals, which I kind of need. Yeah, I mean, when, uh, let's see, who went into, was it, yeah, uh, Jet was in Ice Palace. There, since there wasn't a small key on, on the right side, he had to mirror out anyway. <laughs> mm. 
and go the other way to, to check everything out. So I don't even know what to do. I'm like, what do I do in this situation? I'm like, I think I just got to leave <laughs> and come back in. It was yeah, so that, weird. That's, that's all you can do is, is leave. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've seen the small key, the conveyor small key get stolen uh, to do to do the right side. But I think that's more powerful in, in like a key sand okay, mode where you're yeah. getting an extra check out of it uh rather than in, in just a regular mode where it's like well there might just be a map in in that chest anyway i don't know what this you know i i'm not one that times things because my skill level is such that they my timing will not be accurate for most players so <laughs> So I guess going into the uh, bigger picture here, uh, Tile Roomies, I guess this is it for you guys for the season. Uh, seven and seven, not quite enough to make playoffs. Um, how do you feel about season six in general? Well, seems all right. Yeah, uh, we were talking about it a little bit last night and like, you know, it's... It's always tough in this this division. I, all the divisions are hard, but like, man, you look at the top end of this division, like who you got to go up against. It's uh, it's a who's who of uh, of rando runners. So, you know, seven and seven, missing the playoffs. It it's tough, but uh, you know what? I'll have a lot of free time to go play in that doors tourney for some reason. Uh, <laughs> I got too much free time on my hands now, so I got to do. Something silly like that. There um, you go. But, yeah, but you know, like we'll uh, we'll come back. We'll come back next season, more, most likely. Um, you know, awesome. Assuming, assuming nothing changes, I, I can't. I don't foresee why we would uh, not be back. And we'll uh, we'll do our best to to improve, get back into the playoffs. It was a it was a really nice run. I mean, like honestly, you know, the way last season went for me. Um, was was really tough i was really shocked we made it in it was thanks to thanks to kappa and walsh mm -hmm. largely that we got in so i want to give a shout out to those guys to uh, those two guys um fantastic teammates and like they've they've carried me plenty so like yep. you know we're not going to feel too too down about it uh, it is what it is it's rando yeah carry uh, me plenty too but uh yeah i uh, just uh i want to say thank you guys thank you uh for the restream, um, comms, trackers, all that, yep. and uh, everybody that's put on the league. It's uh, it's always a fun time to come out and do this. And uh, just uh, GG's again, Drifters, uh, well earned uh, conference conference uh, or division title, I should say. Uh, good luck to you guys in the playoffs. Thank you. Yep. Thank you very much. And thank you all for the production. Yeah, well, thank you guys for participating in the season. And, of course, Fendrana Drifters, as we discussed your second seed in your conference, I think that puts you against... Well, I guess it depends on what Bottles on Empty do in their final race. I but... say, there's still some divisions yet to be decided. That Lost Woods division is still a hot mess. Yeah. <laughs> With the possibility of four, eight, and six teams uh, buying for three spots. So. <laughs> right. Well, the tiebreaker's already been decided. Fluff around and find out is eliminated no matter right. what. Right, yeah. Okay, but... I guess I knew that. But that's still three, eight, and six teams to, to right. go. Right. <laughs> um, and so you guys will be facing one of them, Bottles on Empty, the Salt miners or infinity and pagog in the first round those are all scary teams <laughs> yeah kind of crazy that they're all at eight wins currently <laughs> mm -hmm. so what are your thoughts on, on those teams honestly i haven't thought too much ahead into playoffs i was just kind of focused on making it first since mm -hmm. up to the final week we weren't even uh guaranteed a spot so mm -hmm. Right, that's the other thing. Your division is so competitive that 9 and 5 wouldn't have guaranteed you a playoff spot. That's crazy. But, yeah, here you are at 11 and 3, so quite comfortable. Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess you get, what, is it two weeks before Invitational League playoffs start? Is it? 
I know we get at least one week for SGL. Yeah, SGL's next yeah, week. And then, uh, I know in the past that you guys have staggered open versus in invitational. I don't know. Is that is that a thing this year, Drossy? Like, you should no, know. We're, we're, I mean, we're, we're trying some new stuff. Obviously, we have the all co-op playoffs. We'll, we'll right. see how that goes this season. And also, just based on um, how we saw it seemed to work pretty well for scheduling in the cross keys tournament we're, we're gonna try to run the playoffs week thursday to wednesday um mm, okay that th that's to play in with the uh fact that we're doing co-op that this way you know if it gets to be the weekend people can't for whatever reason can't schedule their races on the weekend they have a few more days to you mm -hmm. know figure things out mm -hmm. still mm -hmm. yep. i like that <laughs> as opposed to the weekend suddenly becomes crunch time and now or never. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I think that's pretty much going to do it for us. You guys got anything else you want to add before we close it out? All right, hearing <laughs> nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I think we did cover everything pretty much. Uh, the next match is at 11.10 a.m. Last Location Ears versus Go. Structural Mike and Zen Arcane versus McMonkey, and this is not Yoho. Uh, at 1 o'clock, we have the aforementioned Bottles on Empty versus Terra Enigma is a great game. So that's a, a, a game to, to pay attention to. Uh, Maximum Bar Barnage and Ingembro versus Selene and Super Nin Taylor. And I believe Bottles on Empty clinches their spot if they win. Because they're 8 and 5. But if they lose, then yeah, we ha we have chaos. Um, yeah. No, they, they've clinched already. Oh, they've uh, clinched. See, I, I'm just, yeah, you can Yeah, check the, the head to head tiebreakers. Uh, okay. So... That whether they're involved or not involved, the head to head <laughs> tiebreakers work out the same. Okay. And then we have Amish Paradise versus your mom's favorite rando team. As Amish Paradise tries to stay in uh, Invitational League, trying to, uh, facing relegation, that'll be Dapper Warman and Zero Nix versus Gamma Chu and Shireen. And finally, we have a couple of 310 matches that uh, I don't. Oh, wait, no. Noble Fox and Farm Friends. That's another relegation possibility. Farm yep. Friends needing to win to stay in Invitational. Uh, that'll be Obscure Life Form and Hayfield Bay versus Wind Fox and Mr. Scuff Ninja Tuna. And then the 3 o'clock game. Uh, which doesn't have, which just got added. Uh, that one doesn't have, I think, any playoff implications. Um, Potato Pouch is playing for top seed in their right, conference. Right, 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 right. And I believe that's, uh, yeah, it's it's added recently enough that it doesn't have the team names on it yet. <laughs> uh, but that'll be yeah, Tan that's and Potato Magno. Pouch versus Rando, Rando Kids. Yeah, versus Mr. Aaron Stern and Vextifer, so. Uh, that'll do it for the Invitational League regular season. Week off for SGL. Uh, thank goodness. And then it'll be playoffs. Yeah. Playoffs? You kidding yeah. me? <laughs> playoffs? You talking about playoffs? <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, Drossy, uh, glad you were able to make it. Uh, Boston traffic not holding up too, too much. <laughs> Also, huge shout outs to our trackers to OJ and Furious Magic, especially Furious Magic signing up at the last minute to help us out and have two trackers, which really uh, is much better uh, for our, our trackers are great, but for four runners is, is hard. So shout outs to both of them for signing up for tracking. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for us. Uh, we'll see you all tomorrow morning for the next race. Yeah, uh, thanks for watching and have a good night.